they pull produce off the shelf every day and then they just put it in the boxes and then we take it to all the places that need it. new to the city of Chicago. We have been in operation for about eight months. Um, our duties um, are to locate surplus food that is still within the guidelines of sanitation and relocate that to uh, nonprofits in need. My name is Bob Doherty. I'm the former executive director here at St. Leonard's and I currently manage the kitchen at St. Leonard's House. We receive food from the Greater Chicago Food Depository, which is an amazing organization here in Chicago that collects food that is still good, but may have passed its selling deadline. And they have a huge warehouse, so we go there twice a month and get just amazing quantities of food. And then they bring us fresh food once or twice a month, actually two or three times a month, that is right off the truck and it's a number of things that, that would be very expensive for us to buy. Now zero percent is kind of the new kids on the block and they have a particular niche. They take food right out of restaurants. So it's food that was maybe on being used yesterday to serve in fancy restaurants and then it comes to us today and we serve it tonight at, at, a, at a meal or at lunch. And it's very unusual food that we might not get so it's, it all goes to very very good use. Again in feeding 40 hungry guys. Um, recently the United Nations did a, did a large um, project on, on the food chain and it's believed that about 40% um, of all food produced is uh, lost from field to plate. Kibosh um, here in Wellington and La Hut, um, we only play a small role in that. Um, each month we rescue and redistribute between 10 and 15 thousand kilos of food. Um, so as I say, when we're talking about the, the, the overall volume of food, um, what we risk and redistribute is, is only a small part of it, um, but it has a definite role to play here in Wellington. We've calculated um, through the volume of food that we risk and redistribute each month, it provides around about 35,000 meals um, to those in the community who need it most. Um, the provision of food is really you know, food's one of the most um, you know, basic sort of needs we have and the provision of food is, is one of the things that, that we, we feel um, we can do to help alleviate those issues of poverty. We are at a turning point. As a world, we need to find ways of taking the excess and allocating it to those in need so that there is no more landfills filled with food that could have been somebody's meal, so that there's no more greenhouse gases just because of our over-consumer um, drive to make more and more, so that we find ways to use what we have and then there won't be any more want in the world for food. Thank you.